All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. We fight here five by three minute rounds. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in officially 75.6 kilos. Travels to us tonight from Townsville, trained by Dennis Clancy from the famed Forks Boxing Gym. His professional fight record is 11 fights for five wins, one draw and the five losses. Brisbane makes some noise. This is Ryan Jukebox And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He weighed in 75.6 kilos. From here in Brisbane, trained out of the Fortitude Fitness Gym by Quan Lee Fong. His professional fight record, 10 fights, 6 wins, 2 big wins coming by way of knockout. And the 4 losses, he is a former Queensland champion. Make some noise, this is Declan Kelly! <laughs> Referee, third man in the middle, Mr Philip Holliday. Yes, here we go, folks. Welcome back to Boxing Bazaar 3, live and exclusive here at the Greek Club in Brisbane. Jury Forbes alongside Nathan DiCarlo. It is Ryan the Jukebox Heck in the blue corner. Black trunks, gold and white trimmings. He's up against Declan Kelly in the red corner in his signature black and green strip. Declan Kelly out of Fortitude Fitness under this the watchful guidance of Quan Lee Fong. Ryan Heck, he's trained by Dennis Clancy out of Hawks Gym. This one over five, three minute rounds in the 76.2 kilo catch weight. And two uh, fighters here, Nathan, uh, that are no stranger to the boxing ring. No, not at all. And you can see uh, Decker and Kelly has all the height and reach advantages, but his last couple of fights has actually been sucked into the fight. And that's where he doesn't want to be because he does hold all those advantages. So he needs to utilize them and keep, keep his opponent at the end of his punch, which he's doing a good job of right now, snapping that jab. Trying to follow up with that lead uppercut. Just missing the mark. Well, Declan Kelly, he uh, looking to really revitalise his boxing career. Uh, perhaps his, his biggest win was winning the Queensland title off Hardman when he really uh, made a name for himself on, on the boxing stage here in South East Queensland. Yeah, he was on a five-fight win streak and now he's lost his last two. So he needs to get back on those winning ways. And to get back on his winning ways, he needs to box. He needs to box long. Like I said, he got sucked into the fight the last couple of fights and he got caught out. If he can stick to his jab and keeping the long game, I think it'll be very hard to beat here tonight. A yeah, good test for him against Ryan, the jukebox hit, who keeps delivering the jukebox heck, I should say. Who just keeps delivering, keeps turning up this heck. As you say, Nathan, he's certainly got the height and reach advantage, Declan Kelly, and looking to return to the winner's circle tonight. And his opponent, he's uh, come off a seven-year layoff. He actually had one fight back November last year against our main eventer tonight, Jack Bowen. He lost that one, but there's obviously no no harm in that one because uh, Jack Bowen is a rising star in Australian boxing. So he lost that quite comfortably, getting stopped quite early. But that was his first fight back in seven years. So that would have done him well, even just getting under the bright lights again. It will serve him well for this uh, this opportunity here tonight. Yeah, no disrespect to Declan Kelly, but you could argue that Heck is down in class tonight. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And that's uh, no disrespect at all because Jack Bowen is a future star. So Heck and Kelly. Declan Kelly's father in the in the crowd as he always is to watch his son. Heck just looking uh, to make it awkward for Kelly, I mean, what do you see as, as Heck's passage for victory tonight, Nathan? What does he need to do? Well, it's just it's, it's simple. For a small fighter like that, you need to be on their chest. And look at Huge that. Huge left by yeah, Heck. Really big left hand. And uh, yeah, he, ne he needs to get close to his opponent. He needs to make it rough and tough and messy. Because uh, if it's messy, that's not the fight that Declan Kelly wants. So that means it's working to, to Heck's advantage. He's turning it into a bit of a brawl at the moment, isn't he, Heck? That's the end of the first. Well, the most decisive shot came from that man in blue, Ryan Heck, no doubt. I mean, the, the more shots came from Declan Kelly, but the most decisive shot of the round came from that man, Ryan Heck. Well, that's why they call him Jukebox, because he keeps delivering hit after hit after hit after hit. So an evenly contested opening round here. There is Ryan Heck, the journeyman out of Hawks Boxing. Trained by Dennis Clancy as we have a look at the highlights from the opening round. And that was that big left hand there, just 
hitting the mark. And it was uh, a cracking shot. He needs to follow it up this second round. Declan Kelly needs to just get back to his distance, needs to do what he does best, and that's box and box long. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Boxing Bazaar 3, in no particular order. Big thanks to Beirut Bazaar, Psycon Health, Gumdale Demolition, Specific Cuts Barbershop, Punish Fight Gear, Mr. Mr. King's Footlong Second German Saturday. Sausages. I know you like those, Nate. And, of course, how can we forget Concrete Genie? Round number two. Yeah, round two underway. It's a five round of this one, so odd, odd number. Round two of five. And you can see Heck starting faster this round. So Heck and Kelly. And as you mentioned, Nathan, Declan Kelly coming off two straight losses after winning five in a row and claiming the Queensland title. You get the feeling that both fighters are, are at a crossroads coming to this fight, don't you? Oh, yeah. The loser has got to have a real long, hard look at themselves and their career. The winner, he fights on because, like you said, uh, one's just coming back and one's trying to get back into the winner's circle. And he's certainly not having it all his own way here, Declan Kelly. Ryan Hick just making it awkward for him early on here in the second. Well, Southpaws are awkward as well. So that's probably not helping his cause, Declan Kelly. Uh, but he's fought enough before to be able to work him out by now. But, yeah, that, that left hand is causing a bit of mischief for Declan Kelly so far. Yep, yep. Uh, Heck just scoring again there as well. And this is Heck's keeping his distance, what you were talking about, one of our previous fights, uh, Nathan. He's taking your advice here, Ryan Heck, although it was meant for another fight. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to break down that distance. Whereas Kelly, once again, he sort of looks like he's been sucked into the fight again, fighting, you know, chest to chest. That's that, where he doesn't need to be. He can fight from long. His opponent can't. You'd like to see him work a little harder just to keep heck off him? Well, yeah, that lead hand needs to work a little bit harder because if that lead hand's pumping, he can't get close to him. Again, heck finds his way in. Throws a big left as Declan backs off and just misses. Yeah, that was a good body, straight body shot from Declan Kelly. And the only way Heck can win and upset the apple card here is throw more than one shot. You can see he's just thrown one, he's missed. He's thrown one, he's evaded. He needs to throw multiple shots because by throwing multiple shots, that's forcing your opponent backwards. One shot can be evaded or slipped. Two and three shots can't. You, you're forced to go backwards. As we approach the final 10 seconds here of the second round, Quan, Quan Lee Fong watching on intently in Kelly's corner. Kelly complaining about something here. Heck refuses to barge. Yeah, refuses to budge there, Heck. Uh, He's got to be happy with that round, Ryan Heck. Um, your thoughts on the second round, though? Yeah, he's warming into this fight really well. He's, uh, his output was probably double the first round. So that's that's always promising. Uh, he, and when your output doubles, like I just said, that means you're comfortable in there. You're, you're feeling a lot more comfortable with the power of the other of your opponent. So uh, that's, that's all thumbs up for him. For his Declan Kelly, like I said, there's only one way to win this. And it's to keep it long. Now, for viewers at, at home, Nathan, because we've heard, we hear you speak about this a lot, just the the number of punches thrown, the combinations, you know, three or four punches as opposed to one or two. Uh, what does that come down to? Is it something you've got to intently be, you know, doing a training, or is it a fatigue thing once you get out in the centre? No, it's, it's positioning of the feet. If, if if your feet aren't positioned, you can't throw your second and third shot. So a lot of these fighters. Well, these guys aren't novices, but a lot of the more novice fighters, they throw one shot at a time because they can't, they're not bringing up their feet with their punches. So they, they, their feet aren't in a position to throw that second and third punch. Nathan DiCarlo, always great to have him in the commentary box. Boxing Bazaar 3, this is the third of five three-minute rounds. 
again, Heck just getting in close to Kelly. Cramping Kelly's style. Kelly looking to get things back on track in terms of his boxing career tonight. Just trying to find his mojo again, and he's just... I don't know about you, Nathan, but he just hasn't really found his rhythm yet, has he, Kelly? Not at all. He's uh, upset the uppercut, has Ryan Heck, and he's, uh, he's popping off more shots than his opponent, and that could be telling in this fight. Oh, good shot there from Declan Kelly, just as I say that. Yeah, caught Heck as he was coming in. Now Kelly on the back foot. A taller fighter always should look for the uppercut as well because the shorter fighter is always going to burrow in and usually with their head down so you can walk them onto an uppercut and it really will hurt them and probably put their lights out most more times than not. Heck, he, uh, as you mentioned, he's had that long layoff and... Uh, he hasn't had a lot of rounds in him, has he? There's a big left from Heck. The two most decisive shots of this fight have come from that man in blue, in the blue corner, Ryan Heck. I mean, like I said, the, probably the more shots are still probably favouring Declan Kelly's favour, but the two biggest shots have come from Ryan Heck. Inside the final minute of the third, I was just going to say, Nathan, as this fight goes longer, I mean, he hasn't got a lot of rounds under his belt, Heck. Perhaps that's where Kelly finds his opportunity later in this fight. Yeah, but I mean, yes and no, because it looks like, you know, Heck's handling it well. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's on the front foot. He's not gasping at, uh, he's not gasping at all. He, he looks probably, to be honest, the fresher of the two fighters. As Heck moves in again, double left. And Kelly now responds. Yeah, that was a really good shot there from Kelly as uh, Heck marches forward, just missing with three and four shots. And he's got to start popping here, Kelly. He's got to pop him out of distance. He's got to stop, stop Heck coming forward. Just left, big left hand, just missing again. That one, just a glancing shot. And Heck continues to march forward. Does Ryan Heck and uh, Declan Kelly getting some instructions there from Kwale Fong. Nathan, have, have you seen the fight thus far? I know we're talking about Heck certainly making it awkward somewhat for Kelly, but who have you got ahead at this stage? Well, I think the judge's response would be so different because if you're taking it on power shots alone, probably Heck's winning. But from if you're taking it on culmination of punches, it's, it's, it's uh, Declan Kelly's fight to lose. So it's a very hard one because depending on what side of the ring you're sitting at, you're probably seeing three different fights as well. So I think it's a very, very close fight at this stage. Both boys have had their strengths and weaknesses. And uh, I think it's the balance is going to come in these last two rounds. Whoever wants it more these last two rounds will probably get away with this fight. So two three-minute rounds remaining. Ryan Heck and Declan Kelly. Round four. The penultimate round. Crucial round this. And Kelly working that left jab early in this round, and now Heck comes to life. And he's in close where he wants to be. Uppercut was there for the taking. Kelly didn't go there on that occasion. Yeah, good jab there from Kelly once again. That's a good shot as well from Heck. It's a case of whatever you can do, I can do better for both of these boys. Good shots. He needs to throw more than a single, though. He needs to throw doubles. One shot can be evaded. Two and three shots cannot. You're forced to go backwards. Oh, good body shot there from Kelly. Yeah, that was a strong right, wasn't it? Very good shot. Heck coming in again, so he's definitely been the aggressor, Ryan Heck. Yeah, just overreaching a little bit that time, didn't have his feet underneath him, and there was that uppercut once again from Kelly, just missing the mark. Let's see if Kelly takes the fight to Heck here in this fourth round. He's still just sitting back waiting for Heck to come in at this stage. 
There's that uppercut. Yeah, just missing the mark again, but he's he's throwing the right punch for a smaller fighter, that's for sure. Good jab once again there from Declan Kelly. Which, <laughs> he's, he's starting to take a couple of those uh, jabs, heck, as he's coming in because he's still coming in. The jab isn't stopping him. I know it's landing, but he still wants to get in there, heck, doesn't he? Oh, he's tough. He's a country boy. They'll, <laughs> he'll keep on fighting. He's starting to wear a couple now, heck, as he comes in, and Declan yeah. Kelly just using that space. He's, this fourth round is exactly what he's been should have been doing from the first round. Really effective jab. And that right hand's now coming off that jab. And a bit of claret coming out of the nose of Ryan Heck. A jukebox almost collected by a Kelly uppercut. That uppercut, if it lands, it, it'll be good night. Now Kelly's got Heck on the ropes. Final 30 seconds of the fourth here. Kelly starting to utilize that uppercut. As his corner becomes more and more animated. Calling for him to be more aggressive here. Declan Kelly, another little uppercut. Now backs off and throws a right. Heck just thinking twice about coming in all of a sudden. Yeah, fatigue starting to set in. He's been hit with a couple of those clean shots straight down the barrel. That was a definite Declan Kelly round for me. A much better performance in that round. So Declan Kelly getting the round according to Nathan DeCarlo. Let's have a look at the highlights. You can see it was just a, the effective use of a jab. That's all the taller fighter needs to do from the start. But he started to find it in round four, that's for sure. A very good round. That uppercut just missing a couple of times. That was a shot I called for early on in the piece as well. Starting to use it effectively. Starting to use all the shots a bigger fighter should be using on a smaller fighter. What would you be saying if you're in Ryan Heck's corner right now, Nathan? Like I said, he's got to throw three, four, five, and six shots at a time. He can't throw one at a time. It'll be evaded. He'll get picked off with that jab. He, need, he needs to, yeah, he, he needs to make this messy. It's the old saying, the smaller fighter, he needs to, he needs to get closer to his opponent. Out, the way you get closer is just by throwing punches. And positioning on the feet as well. So final round here. Heck versus Kelly. It's Hawks Jim up against Fortitude Fitness. Yeah, good hook there from Heck to start off this fifth round. Yeah, oh, big swing and a miss once again, just missing the mark. You can see he has most of his success, Heck, when he's throwing punches, when he's throwing multiple of punches. Look at this. Two and three shots once again. He's close to his opponent. He can work away now. Got Kelly where he wants him, but Heck just needs to continue to work. He doesn't want the ref getting involved. He's got to keep working. Oh, huge right there from Kelly to the body. Unfazed Ryan Heck. What can Ryan Heck come up with here? Declan Kelly at this stage just happy to create that distance. Yeah, he's getting desperate now, Ryan Heck. He's probably feels he's probably one or two rounds behind, so he's throwing a big hook and reaching in. Probably not the smartest thing against a taller fighter. Like I said, they're throwing that uppercut so pretty effectively. Oh, good, good left hand just hitting the mark once again there from Heck. He's got to work in there now. He's got to work, work, work. He's only got a minute 40 left in this contest. Halfway through the final round. This time Kelly taking a shot at Heck as he moves in and now Heck goes to work. Well, he's getting closer to his opponent but he's not throwing once he's in there. He's just almost like uh, NRL tackling him as he gets closer to him. He needs to throw punches once he's in there. You can see once again, close and he grabs. The jukebox looking for a one-hit wonder here late in the fifth. Drives Kelly into the corner again. And Kelly just happy to take seconds off the clock here. Looking to keep Ryan Heck at bay. He'll keep coming all day though, the country boy Ryan Heck. 
Yeah, he will, and uh, that's where he wanted to be. But Declan Cully's created that bit of distance once again as he pops off with his own jab. Both boys just breaking up once again. Inside the final 30 seconds. Yeah, it's all or nothing here for Heck. You can see he's trying to march forward. His desperation starting to kick in now as he grapples once again. That's what he doesn't want to do. He's in with a puncher's chance here. Heck, can he connect with something? Seconds continue to tick down here. Kelly doing enough at this stage, you would think. Yeah, both boys, that's seconds are out. That is it. They've staked their claim. Who has got it? Time to make this one official as we head back into the ring with our MC, James O'Shea. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to uh, make this one official. Put your hands together for the two fighters. A very competitive, fantastic, professional fight action for you here tonight. We go to the judges' scorecards. And Judge John Watson scores the bout 48 to 47. Judge Paul Williams scores the contest 48 47. And our third judge scores the bout 49 to 46. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the red corner, Declan Kelly.